Hey, hello everyone and welcome back to RimWorld Mod Testing. Well, we're back to look at the second half of the uh, Federation pack, but as you've seen probably by the title, we are also going to delve into the Empire mod because, well, we need animals and uh, what better way to get some animals for slaughtering than have them sent to you well there are a few other ways we could but one thing I I was gonna just do the second half of the Federation thing and then I realized that the Empire's mod actually had research so instead of not doing the Empire's mod, we'll just make this episode about it. And yeah, we've looked at the Empire's mod before, so it's nothing too uh, different. Though I don't remember it being made by the uh, uh, Vanilla Factions people. But it is. Um, so that's... I don't know if they took it over. Or if they've always been the ones that did it. And I just didn't realize it. I don't know. But either way, we're going to do the research for that. And then we're going to go down here. And look at the items that were made with the other mod. Um, yeah. The Federation Faction Pack. Anyway, this is the Plasma Cavalier. Uh, 15 damage. 22 armor pen. 4 burst count. 20 range. 100% at medium. 94 at short. Uh, 81 at long. Not like you can hit long anyway. 3.5 second cooldown, 11% direct hit chance, 1.5 miss radius, and 2.2 second warm up. And you're going to lose one cell. Uh, yeah. You're, you're taking a whole minus one to your cells per second. So that's a pretty heavy weapon, apparently. Though I don't think it was actually all that heavy, was it? Uh, uh, 10 kilograms, but... Alright, now well, that's the dirt roads. Yeah, the research basically is the roads. That's all you're really researching. Settlement makes asphalt roads and asphalt highway. Uh, so... Uh... Let's go into settlements real quick here. And uh, this is where you set up your stuff the faction, your colonies, the bills, the events, basic stuff. Um, let's see. Uh, uh, go in here. Nope. Over you. Yeah, okay. Uh, hmm. Alright, well this is where you pick your trait. I know that much. Uh, build roads. Huh. That used to be a trait, I think. Yeah, road builders, right here. Unmagically unlocks first road technology. Yeah, well, a little late for that, huh? I already unlocked that, so, um, don't think we need that. Uh, innovate, that's what we make, yeah, I don't care about that, random trade caravans, industrious 5%, uh, every time someone build to receive a boost, defense in depth, military forces receive plus 2 level bonus to combat when defending, uh, Though I believe they turned off uh, something 
Let's see. Messages. Uh, no. Ain't there something about the manual defense was shut off because uh, they were having issues with it or something? I don't know. Anyway, um, resilient reduces prosperity loss. Can't lose buildings or settlement levels upon failed defense. Uh, increase the value of loot by 20% when raiding. Uh, I think we'll... I don't know. Usually I go with the uh, defense, I think. When defending. But uh, I guess we'll... I guess we'll go with Resilient. Yes, go with Resilient. Okay. No, um, not sure. Anyway, actions. Tax delivery map. Set this map. Uh, that one, yes. Uh, set capital. Yes. Activate. Uh, check that. Open. Ah. Alright, uh, let's see. No, that wasn't it. Uh, no, that wasn't what I was looking for. Okay. I don't know where it is, but... There was a way to change these things, I just don't remember how. Alright, anyway, create new... Uh, wait. Uh, here we go. Uh, faction name, uh, just go with testers, not tested, testers, faction title, uh, I don't even know what this is, but let's just go with alpha, and then we can change our, uh, Thing here, got wolf, a dr assassin, phoenix, dragon. Uh, what's the dragon? And that. Okay. Loud races will allow all. That's fine. All right, and then you come in here and you could pick your fair settlements free once per year. You get uh, fifty percent settlements that you. Construct start at level 2. I always like that one. Uh, all research produced by your settlement stubble. Don't care. Modifier when using faction military forces. Once per 5 days you can deploy a second squad. Uh, yeah, this is the other one that uh, I like using as well. Uh, so... That's fine. Confirm changes. That's fine. Get rid of that. Now let's create. We can settle our first uh, thing here. Uh, I guess we actually have to pick a better spot first. Um, let's see. Oh. Hmm. Uh, 1.5 for animals. Uh, let's just go like right here. Should be able to get animals. We're going to settle there. Uh, time zero hours. Really? Alright. Uh, we'll see what happens. Anyway, we'll start that. Alright, so let's see. This is the Unity Guard Helmet. 143% uh, sharp, 39% heat, uh, minus 10% to social interact or social impact. Alright, uh, what are you sitting on? Anything? Yep. This is the guard 
Unigard Caracas. Oh. 126.5% to sharp, 34.5% heat, and a penalty of 0 0.15 to your speed. So nothing great there. Okay, oh, this one's legendary. Nice. Riot gear. 200% to sharp, 18 to blunt, 135% to heat. Movement speeds minus 0 0.3, and you take a 10% to your social impact. So, don't think people are going to be. Uh, we'll get back to that in a second. Our settlement is formed. Let's go there, and uh, no. Uh, see settlement info. There we go. We automatically get a barracks. That's nice. I want to bring up our worker count to that. I don't really care about the uh, cost. I can afford that. I want them to tithe. I. Disable all. All right, now let's go. I don't want huge thing. Well, I don't know though because we could get. We could probably get the, any because we don't have a storm cutter yet. No, 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 no. We need to focus here, people. Okay, we need small things that can go into our freezer so we can. Uh, turn it into geoframes. So that would be monkeys. We can put those in our freezer. Uh, we can throw chickens in our freezer. And throw ducks in our freezer. Turkeys. Uh, I assume a goose will fit. I don't know if a cow will fit. Maybe? Maybe not. Um, I don't want to have to kill boom loads. They explode. I believe goats will fit. Elks won't. Yaks won't. Caribou won't. Horse won't. Donkeys might, but I'm not taking that risk. Rabbits definitely will. Uh, we can have that kind of rabbit as well. Um... We could do all the spiders. I don't want all the spiders. So, uh, turtles will fit. Uh, wild boar should fit. Um, chinchillas will fit. I don't want to get too many options. So I want. Yeah, I want to be able to get. I know squirrels will fit. Some of these things are more cost effective to not have actually. Because, um, like, let's see, you're 99, you're 57, you're 54. So I could get a lot more squirrels with 34 than I would. Uh, and I only get for 650, so. I, I don't know. I'll go through that later. Anyway, buildings. Uh, buildings we can put... Let's see. Research. I don't care. Uh, apartment housing. Plus 8 to max workers. Okay. Uh, apparel shop. Gun definitely want to make sure we have a defensive capability, so we'll stick in an artillery post. Uh, let's see. Um, uh, did an automated defense system. Uh, Okay, let's see here. Where is... Uh, we want the... No. Plus 
15 to the tight modifier. Let's see. Um, uh, 10. Okay, here we go. Wilderness skill 25% animal production. Okay, we want that one. So, that should, once it's built, increase our animal things. And uh, I guess we could build the housing as well. And then we will upgrade the area. Alright. And we'll leave that as is for now. Let's go back. Finish up here. This is the heat projector. It is 5 damage, 7.5% armor pen. 8 burst count, 23 range, and crappy accuracy, range cooldown is 2.95 seconds, direct hit chance 20%, miss radius is 1, range warm up 1.62 seconds, and you're going to take a 0 0.7 movement speed penalty. Man, so far I am not impressed by these things. Nor was I impressed by the excruciating amount of time that it took to craft this stuff. Because, I'll tell you, it took at least 8 to 10 hours of real life time to do this stuff, if not longer. Anyway, Sharp 43... Oh, this is the marksman gear. Sharp is 43.5%. Blunt 7.3%, heat 29%. Uh, aiming times minus 20%, social impact minus 10%. So it's not terrible, like for the uh, bonus to your, you know, reduction for your aiming time. That ain't too bad. Uh, concussion baton 13.8 melee damage with 28% uh, armor penetration eh, not terrible not the best I've seen but not terrible uh, the riot gear helmet 143% sharp 13% blunt 91% heat and minus 10% to your social impact uh, crucible rifle 15 damage, 22% armor penetration, 4 burst uh, uh, shot count, 32 range. Uh, overall, accuracy ain't bad, I guess. Um, your long distance probably not going to. Well. Yeah, I guess you could get some in the long with the 32. So, yeah. Overall, not bad. 94% Nin for close. 94% uh, percent for long. And then 100% for your short and medium. So, not bad. Cooldowns 2.45 uh, seconds. Warm-ups 1.35 seconds. So, uh, I guess not overall terrible. I uh, wouldn't say it was the best, but not terrible. Anyway, uh, the Marksman Helmet, 39% sharp, 6.5% blunt, 26% the heat, minus 20% to your aiming time, and social impact of minus 10%. Which I guess wouldn't really matter as long as you don't have a social character wearing the armor. Like Vivo, I wouldn't have wearing that armor. So. Anyway, Crucible Carbine, 10 damage, 15% uh, armor pen, 3 burst count, 20 range, 96% accuracy for close and short, and then drastic drop off when it comes to the medium but 
I guess you're not going to be doing a whole lot of medium shooting. Uh, but it drops down 66% and you're not going to do any long, so that's neither here nor there. Uh, 1.15 second cooldown and 0 0.95 second uh, warm up. So it's uh, somewhat quick, I suppose. Uh, what's this one? This is the Crucible Precision Rifle. 19 damage. Armor pen at 28%. 3 burst count. 48 range. Uh, well, at least the uh, medium and long is 100%, and that's where it counts, I suppose. Uh, you're looking at 3.98 second cooldown and a 3.9 second warm up, so it's slow firing, which isn't too surprising for a rifle. Uh, Crucible Pistol is the final weapon, I believe. At 12 damage, 19% armor pen, 5 burst count, 25 range, 100% at close, 94 at short, and 88 at medium, which is your max distance. Uh, so you wouldn't have to worry about the long. 2.1 second cooldown and 0 0.65 second warm up. That is a bit slow on the cooldown for a pistol, though. And yes, I was right. That was the last one. So, yeah, I didn't expect them to take nearly that long to complete the, the uh, crafting of those items. But they did. They took a good long while. So... Anyway, uh, we have this uh, set up. I can actually increase the uh, worker. Um, let's see. Can I click on? Yeah, I can click on you. Uh, since I'm paying for yins anyway, I guess I could just increase the workers all the way up to 11. Uh, metal. Hopefully increase the amount of animals I get. I don't know. You'll get it once every five days. So um, Now I just need to set up a... Let's see. Is it under here? Maybe not. Uh, there should be a spot thingy to where they deliver your payment. But it might be through this. Um, bills, no. Alright, uh, thought there was a spot, let's see, actions, I already set up the map, I already set the capital, but I thought there was a way to pick the spot that they delivered the, uh, out, okay, that's the outpost delivery. Huh, maybe not. Must not be now. I don't know, I thought there was. Huh. Maybe new people, new roles? I don't know. Party spot, marriage spots. Yeah, I'm not seeing it. Caravan hitching spot, trading spot. Huh. Yeah, I don't see it. Yeah, I thought there was a way, though, to set up, like, where the items were delivered to. Um, thought it was under here, but... Um, that just lets me set the map, yeah. Set the map. All taxes and goods will be delivered there, yes. But, I thought I could pick where I had them delivered. Uh, check tech, patches. Hmm. Alright. Uh, I don't think the under structure, no. Huh. Okay. Maybe 
maybe I was wrong. Um, I must be because I didn't see it under. Oh, let's see. If I put in tax. Oh, no. Yeah, I just totally missed it, apparently. Okay. Uh, I thought it was in there, but somehow I totally missed it. Alright, let's, uh... We'll stick it here so it's indoors. Unfortunately, that's going to put... Actually, no. I better not do that because, uh... That would put all the animals in there, and I don't want all the animals in there. Um... How about instead we just throw it like out here somewhere? Uh, at least till we... I don't even know where I'm going. Put them in toy and slaughter them either. Uh, we'll just throw them right here for now. Oh, well. Uh, how are we doing on getting our... Well, we got one legendary. I, I did send out people to go getting the uh, animals and that so now it's just a matter of making the other legendary but that means that we can at least start with one of these so let's go to dinosaur and we will go there and then we will click the legendary and we're gonna click the stabilizer and we will click you and then all we gotta do is send somebody down there so that way they can start the process and uh yeah we'll have our first uh dinosaur hybrid being grown so that's a start anyway Okay, so, yeah, that's the basic look at the Empire's Mud and our sec uh, finishing our look at the uh, Faction's Mud. I don't think there is... Basically, every five days you get your bill. You know, usually, you would try to make it so that way they owe you money, but right now, I don't really care. I just need some animals right at the moment, so... Just to make sure that I got enough geo frames going. So, alright, well, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Till next time, I'm out of here. Bye bye!